What is going on, everybody? My name is Wolfswinger, and ladies and gents, you showed amazing support for the Ben 10 videos on this channel. So for that, I'm going to go on ahead and, like I promised, deliver a brand new series of customs for Ben 10. 10. So, so far we've uh, we went ahead and designed 11 different aliens and Ben 10, so 12 in total uh, characters have been designed. Check out the video for that if you haven't yet, just to give you a little bit of a roundup. We had Ben 10, we had, um, oops, I guess we should start up there actually, Heat Blast, we had Accelerate, Diamond Head, Feedback, Ghost Freak, Upgrade, Humongosaur, Big Chill, Rip Jaws, Alien X, Four Arms was the conclusion. Now, that almost sounded like that rap song from... Um, Pokemon, you know, like where it goes like Bulbasaur, Chikorita, da, 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 however it goes. It wasn't that, but it, it's something like that. Regardless, what are we working on today? Well, today we're going to go on ahead and create one of the aliens that many of you guys had suggested. And of course, like always, guys, hit that like button on this video. As soon as this video hits 500 likes, I'm going to get the next alien video up for you guys. So don't forget, you can also, while leaving a like, down in the comment section below, just go on ahead and type in a comment of which other alien you think we should create. And more importantly than that, the other way that you could really, really help out is that if you don't even want to type in a comment, just simply thumbs up one of the other comments that you agree with so that I know like, okay, that's the top comment, that's the top um I guess, request that we have. So what are we working on today? Well, one of the most commonly repeated uh, aliens were suggested by Nathan uh, Pit... Pr okay, let me try to not completely destroy your last name. P Piton Pitoniak? I hope I said that right. Sorry, Nathan. Uh, hey, Blitz, you should make Grey Matter. And then also RKNG Gamer agreed with you as he said, make gray matter. So I Googled gray matter and I have to say this alien looks pretty awesome. He's like a cool little small um, kind of, I guess, uh, scientist type character. He looks really awesome. So we're going to go on ahead and do our, uh, do our very, very best to put him together here today. And of course... And like always, let's get started in a LEGO DC Super Villains customizer. So step one is going to be to actually remove super speed. Because from what I could tell, he moves at regular speed. So we're going to remove that. We're going to adjust the heart. Okay, it's already green. I forgot we've already changed that from before. Uh, ooh, you know what? Actually, I might change his animation pose to be trickster, strong, martial artist, cool. I think maybe trickster, sort of. Right? No, that does not work. Martial artist does not work. Strong does not work here. Cool. I think cool works because he's kind of like a scientist. He's very, very smart, obviously, uh, as that character. And we're going to go on ahead and give him the ability to summon little drones because I think that would be really cool for him as well. So um, now from there, let's go into, I guess let's adjust the abilities actually first. So skills wise, um, I guess we could keep acrobat technologies for sure a must have here. We should go on ahead and also uh, give this character, let's see, let's see, let's see. X-ray, probably not necessary. Graffiti, probably not necessary. Tracking, we will give him. Hazard protection, we'll give him. And stealth, we'll give him. I feel like those are all fine. Uh, well, actually, stealth probably doesn't make much sense. Although, maybe he could turn himself invisible somehow using some device. You guys let me know. Now, I'm almost 100% sure that this character cannot fly uh, or glide for that matter. So, we're going to give him a regular double jump. And the double jump style that we're going to use, let's see, we have that one, we have this one, we have the twist, we have the multitude. I think this one kind of works, right? Okay, so that has all been adjusted. Now it's time for the fun stuff, and that's to actually design the character. Oh, whoops, sorry, no, one more step, one more step, my apologies. Uh, we do need to give him the drone ability. I wouldn't mind giving him, like, an ex explosive ability here. So you could do that. But then I think drone will be under... Oh, wait. But we also have to... We have to be able to shrink this character. And that comes from what? I think it's this. There we go. So we've got the shrink button activated. I think I'll have to deactivate this then. Just because we, we want to try to avoid any glitches. And we, then we will give him the drone access ability. Because, again, I feel like that's a cool concept for him. So we have the rattling teeth. We have the penguin. And then we have the cool little helicopter. And since the helicopter is in green and purple, it kind of fits Ben 10's theme. So I think we'll go with that one. 
All right, so I think that's going to be our lineup for powers. I think we're set there. Now, finally, it's time to work on the appearance of this guy. So, uh, by the way, guys, we're going to go for the original costume, which I think is white uh, in design. I know that even when I Googled the images for Grey Matter, he does come up with a different design as well, like a green and black instead of the white and black costume. So, obviously, there's a couple of different looks um, that Grey Matter has had, I am assuming so at least, or maybe he just looked different depending on which season, or maybe that's like a powered up version, because I also saw one with like green goggles that looked really cool, so I feel like there's been obviously different takes on this character, so who knows? If you guys support the series, maybe we'll eventually build all of the different variations. So, let's start with the easy stuff, which is going to be the hands, because he does not wear any gloves or anything like that, so it's kind of like that sort of skin tone he has it's kind of like a lightish grayish blue which i feel like that is a pretty close color to that because i think these ones are going to be too bright yeah i think that one's too bright so i think this is kind of the closest maybe that no no that's too bright yeah i think that's the right color okay so we'll go with that which is great now for the arms we want to go with a design that's going to be mostly white and then maybe ideally like some sort of cuffling type zone, uh, type look, which actually, now that I think about it, maybe if I recolor this. Wow, that's actually perfect. Seriously, that is exactly what we need. And the costume's already figured out for us, kind of. We'll see. We'll, we'll maybe adjust the costume a little bit further, but it actually does not look all that bad as it is right now. So that's a pretty cool look. So... From there, um, I guess let's transition to the leg piece. I think the leg piece is actually pretty good like it is, except we do need to adjust again the colors. So he does seem to be kind of barefoot. He has a little bit of like black around the ankles, so almost like a tape wrap or something like that. But I don't think we're going to find anything that specific. Although, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's actually scroll through and, and see maybe there's something that would fit better. Um, to the design that we're working on. And if there is, then obviously we'll go on ahead and use that one. I just don't particularly think we will, but... Hmm. What recolors on this? Ah. Uh, yeah, that won't work. It would have worked if we could change the color on the blue there as well. That would have actually been pretty good uh, as a consideration, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. So we'll stick to the look that we went with initially, because at that point we're... Already got somewhat of an accurate rendition of the characters. I think that's the same skin tone we used for the um, hands there. So that works very well. We do need to adjust the hip color to just be plain white. And luckily, most of his costume is pretty easy. So as you can see, we're kind of blasting through this. There's really not much difficulty here. Okay, so let's go through the preset buddies. So what we want is... Ideally, something that can be all white and then like a black stripe down the middle. That's the costume that he has. So it's weirdly simple. But I've noticed that anytime there's a costume that that's that's this simple, it's always really, really tough to like make something look as accurate as possible because it's just tough to find something that's that simplistic uh, in its design, you know. So let's scroll through. We'll see if we can find something that's even remotely close. I wonder if we could go with like just a coat. Because he's supposed to be like a scientist type character. I think at least Grey Matter is supposed to be like a... He's kind of like the genius scientist, I think, alien that uh, Ben can become. But if I'm wrong, by the way, let me know. I'm, I'm definitely open to uh, learning more about the Ben 10 universe. So let me know down in the comment section below. This one actually does look kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, the problem is that it's red and black, the, the stripes, instead of just being black, which would have looked really cool. But it's not a bad option, honestly. It's not a bad option at all. So, that would be a consideration here. Um, I think that one might be a decent option for us. Um, what recolors on this? Nope, that won't work. Oh, wow, this one could have been, maybe, could have worked, maybe. Maybe we could recolor it, but we can't recolor it even. So that stinks. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to look for something that has like a black stripe design down the middle, which I think we've just scrolled through everything. So we legitimately only have two things that are even remotely 
close to what we want to go for, and that's Mr. Terrific, which, honestly, does look pretty cool. We do need to remove the tail, because I feel like it's kind of difficult to judge um, with that piece being equipped. So let's remove that for a second. There we go. So I think that should help uh, deciding. So I really like that look. And I almost, just because I don't want to reuse the same torso from, what's his face, um, Beast Boy. And I'm not going to lie, like, the Beast Boy torso does look cool, but it's completely inaccurate for this design. Because it flips everything on its head. Like, it should be the white and black design flipped the other way. And he's not supposed to even have a belt buckle or anything like that. So I feel like the Mr. Terrific look actually looks better here. It's closer to what we want. So I think we're going to go with this. And actually try that out. Okay. Now comes the most difficult aspect of this character. And that's the head sculpt. Because that's going to be really tough to figure out. So first of all. Um, let's remove. That piece altogether. Um, I guess we could remove the hat for now as well. Man. This is going to be tough. Because he has like. The, the shape of the head. Is something that we're going to try to get right. And I knew this is going to be the toughest part. Of figuring out this character, so. I mean, in theory, we could maybe use something like this. Use that to give him the green eyes that he has, and then... Paint the rest of it this. Look. Hmm. It's not a terrible design. <laughs> I like that that's the aim. It's not terrible. What changes color on this? Okay. Oh, so the, the eyes remain the same always, regardless of what we change. What's that? Oh, it's just those two pieces. Ah, that stinks. If we could change the eye color to be green, that could actually work, honestly. It would be a decent take. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I actually don't dislike the way it even looks right now. It's kind of all right looking. Because it gives us that stripe that he has across the head. Which is sort of interesting. We do need to change the um, head color, obviously. So, for this... I guess maybe I should actually scroll first through these. Maybe there's a better option here and I didn't realize it. So, let's just kind of scroll through. We're looking for something that maybe has like a stripe down the middle of the forehead. <clears throat> and then, ideally, we want the green eyes. Which, a character like that, for example, would fit the bill. So... We do need to remove the helmet for that to be seen, but for now, let's just kind of scroll through and see what we're working with all together, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do here. What is this? Lashina, okay. Or Lashina, I don't know how to say that. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Well, that's going to give you the stripe, sort of, but it's all over the head and the face. It's not really just up on the forehead. So, that's a little difficult. That gives you a stripe, but it's a yellow stripe instead of the one that we wanted to go for. Which would be a, just a black little, like, rectangle sort of design. Wow. Okay. So, not too, too many great options. We could go, of course, to the presets. Um... He does have a pretty simplistic look, but he also does have, like, these little, almost like gills on the side of his face. Which we can kind of achieve using something like this, for example, even. Because if we repaint the wrinkle color... Like that. Hmm. Now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how the heck to give him the right shape. To the head so that it's as close as possible to what we see uh, in the uh, cartoon show, of course. Which, again, is easier said than done, certainly. Uh, so let me think. What else could we use? I mean, something like this is just way over the top. <laughs> Even though it does look kind of funny, honestly. So we could give him the green eyes this way. And there you go. But it, it's just completely off. Like, it actually kind of gives him an interesting look for the uh, eyes, but the face is completely off. It is funny, though. I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty good counter 
uh, to the design that we're actually going to go with, I guess. You could be like, hey, if you want to just go with like something completely out of the blue, I think you could probably consider that one. I wonder what this will look like. What recolors on this? Ooh, can you... Nah, it doesn't work. Although that would be kind of a cool design, honestly. Okay, can't use this. So far, I think the best look we've had was the Parademon one here. I think that looks pretty decent. Um, let's see what else we could find that maybe, again, allows us to recolor it so that it's at least somewhat similar to the design that we're going for. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. I guess that could give you the stripe look. Sorta. Maybe. But, nah. I mean, we could adjust the eyes on this to be a, more accurate. Like, so it'd be head. Then we need green eyes. So it'd be some like this. So, that's kind of the look. You know? Which, I guess that's kind of a decent counter. Honestly. Like, that sort of works. You know? Um... I don't completely dislike it. Like, I actually think it looks all right. Let's see. If we could just figure out a helmet that could work really well here. That would be so awesome. Seriously. I just... Again, I feel like all the helmets are going to look inaccurate. That's not going to work. The Swamp Monster look. That has one color right there. So... Again, not accurate. Ah, oh, man. That stinks. I was really hoping we could figure out a helmet that would make this look a lot more accurate. Is there one recolor on this? Yeah, there is. That stinks. Because I was trying my best to, like, get it as close to the design as possible. Yeah, that's just way over the top. So, we're really down to the Parademon look, which, again, I think does look alright. Uh, and I think it looks cool. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like what we came up with it, uh, this look right here. Oh, whoops, sorry. It would be this and this. So you get the black stripe. I think it's more accurate uh, to the design. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Let's see. Is there anything we could do to like buffer the design a bit more? Maybe an attachment. Maybe we could make an attachment work somehow better for the character. I'm not sure. I might as well take a look, though. Okay, I think that's that. So, I think that is going to be our rendition of the one and only Grey Matter. Now, of course, stay tuned here for just a second, because I'm going to show you guys what the character looks like out and about. And more importantly than even that, um, we have the shrink ability, of course, uh, available on this character, which will be fantastic, because that's what's going to make the character look a lot more accurate. As he should be... Wait, what? Why does he still have the claws? I thought we removed those. Did we not remove those? Could have sworn we removed them. We don't need claws. There we go. Deactivate that ability. And then let's save. That's awkward. <laughs> he just runs around with giant claws. It's like, what are you doing, dude? All right. So, there we go, guys. We got it. Look at that. How awesome is that? Yo, I'm seriously proud of that. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. So, let's take a look at the character here in just a moment uh so basically you have ben 10 or i guess we should transform into ben 10 i think that would be a lot more appropriate here so we have ben 10 right here and then as he would activate the omnitrix right so he's got his omnitrix in hand so there's ben 10 and then as he activates he transforms into gray matter and there's Grey Matter. So he's tiny, as you can see. Very, very, very small in comparison to a regular character. Or if we even compared him to, like, Humongosaur or one of the other designs, he, then he would look completely tiny. But still has all his cool abilities. Still has the drone ability to call in and be able to control that and help out with different missions and things like that. Because he's a scientist and super duper smart. So that is awesome. I'm seriously so stoked that we were able to put together Grey Matter. But now it's up to you guys to decide what is next. What character are we going to be working on next? We have Grey Matter completed. What's going to be the next one? Let me know down in the comments section below. I'll be paying attention to the comments. And of course, like always, guys, as soon as this video hits 500 likes, the next video will become 
available. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope we can get another 11 different aliens done up this time so that then we could do another epic showcase of all 11 new aliens that we come up with. Of course, like always, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day. I do indeed hope to see you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.